So I was talking to my brother the other day, and he had told me that Patty Stanger has a new show. Now, I was a huge, I mean, I, I, almost, I almost did, my, I have another show called um, Have You Heard Of Me? And I almost did a whole series on that, on her shows on Bravo and stuff, because I was a huge fan back in the day. Well, I said, let me, ch-, because of that, I said, let me check out what she's doing. And so on the CW, which I never watched the CW, it was just dancing off the air. I don't, I don't watch, I watch no shows in the CW. I was like, I was like well, I watch nothing on the CW. Um, it's such a whole other world over there. Like, not my generation, it seems. But anyway, so Patty Stinger, I see she has a show over there, so I recorded an episode that just aired um, right after my birthday. I just had a birthday, so I would say it aired May 2024 as a recording this. And so I said, let me check it out. It's an hour long. And, but just a little, you know, a little rundown. And it's also her birthday this month. Hey, birthday, Miss Patty. Later this month in May. Um, she's the millionaire matchmaker. She had all these shows. She had the shows on Bravo. She was, you know, I watched all those seasons. I watched her and she went from, I mean, and I used to love her advice. Her advice was straightforward. It made sense. These people were totally, and when it, you know, like, like everything else, when it first came out completely, it seemed real and all that. It got a little more produced as seasons went on, as they, it happens. I think wisely then they stopped doing it. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Any, I don't know what the split was or anything. Um, but she, well, my business. But I did enjoy her show. I enjoyed her supporting cast and watching people if they get together or not. So to watch this show, this newer version is not millionaire, just matchmaker. These guys, these these the woman. There's two. There's two people, and actually very diverse. So it was like a straight black chick who. Um, it's in my field. She does hosting and interviews, and she's on on TV. And then the other guy was a, a, a white gay, a gay guy, and his who's fifty years old. Who um, they both Los Angeles, and he, I forgot what he did. I'm like, he does, but they both are like. So we have one straight black girl, one gay white guy. So a little bit for everybody. Very smart. Set in Los Angeles, and I was like, where is she? So they show her place. I know LA because I live here. So I think she lives somewhere in Santa Monica or Venice, which is by the beach, the beautiful little place she has. Um, and I was I was actually kind of excited. To, I, I have not seen her in, I mean, she was on Days of Our Lives back in the day, but apparently like, she was big for a while for NBC. I have not, and, and Bravo, I have not watched or seen her in years. So I see her, she looks amazing. You go, Miss Patty, she looks good. So it's good, wearing them shorts, them short dresses and her lights long, dark hair and um, she looks great. She looks great. I was like, oh, so it's good. Okay, go on, girlfriend. Um, and but I will tell you something, because the whole premise is still the same. It's a it's a very basic premise. That's that's just you know smart. She meets with them, then she meets with her team, she sets them on dates, and then we see what happens afterwards. Very simple, no nonsense. What I found with this episode was she was completely toned down. I, I'm not sure if that's good or not. I mean, I know it got a little more outrageous with her just screaming at people, and you're a tired, and you're a bitch. I mean, I get I got a little too much. But her style, she's from New York. Her style is we're a little loud from New York. We're a little loud. We're, we tell like it is, we're very direct. And she was still direct, but she was very subdued for me. I was kind of like, Okay, so it wasn't unpleasant or it just it was just like okay, she was polite. She let she let them talk. She was asking them questions. Still the same thing, like you know, what are you doing? She always turns it back on you, which I appreciate that. Um, and both both of the, the I would say contestants, both of the daters, both have big on my nerves, both of them a little bit. Um, but most people get your nerves when you try and date. Um, but I thought she was like, okay, she was like, just asking nicely and how do you do this? She always does this whole thing. She still does it. I get back to work. I got things to do. I gotta go. I gotta go. After she's done talking to her, it makes me laugh. It's, it's something she's been doing for years. That is her thing. Um, when she's done with them. But she's I but I was like, okay. But then when she goes back, I was hoping to be part of her old team was there or something. When she goes back, she has this guy, Nick Vaughn. I'm like, why does he look familiar? Looked him up. He's a former bachelor. Of the Bachelor, and he's working for her. I'm like, okay, interesting. I don't know what that's about. Um, 
And I was like, okay, so he's on the show with her, and he's helping her pick the matches. And for the girl, he showed a bunch of guys. All of them are hot. Um, but she was really trying to find with the with the with the girl. The girl wants somebody to be kind of strong um, and kind of take over and stuff. And like, okay, but you know, I'm not too strong, obviously, but because she's a very strong personality. He brought her friend in. Her friend was like, yeah, she's somebody who's going to blah, blah, blah. I was like, that's right, girl. Tell your friend. Um, they picked her a nice guy. He's half Italian, half black. Um, and I liked that. And so what made me happy about her, she said at first she wasn't attracted to him that much. He had a great body and everything. But she said after the second date, she went on a second date with him. And she said, I'm giving him a chance. And I, I will give that chick one. She was like, I'm going to give this guy a chance. Uh, she started to feel a more attraction to him. But she, know, but I think she understood it's her. And so she really is trying to come out of that. They haven't gone on a third date yet as of the, of the airing. But I, I appreciate she went on a second date. She took Patty's advice and did that. Um, they, did a, they did a VR reality thing that was really fun. And they talked... So that was kind of was a fun the little the dates are always something different, of course, are fun. Now with the two with the guy, they had a meetup with a guy named Happy Ali. Because right? his name was actually Ali Happy. He came to this country. Um uh, and it was mom, and he just switched his name. He's a he's a father of kids. He was so cute. Oh my God. He seemed so happy. Like happy was so happy. He was he was very sweet. I was like, oh my God, why can't he smile like that? But anyway, no story. He's out there. And so they did a paint and sip. And I think it looked like, I thought it was Patty's, like, courtyard, I think. Uh, so right there on the beach, there, they had to paint each other. He was a good paint. That guy was really good. But the guy that was in there, I, it seemed like they were really getting along and vibing. And, oh, the thing about the guy was, he was in a thruple that went bad. With somebody 22 years, thruple went bad. The two got together behind his back, and then that was it. So he was on his own. They had a whole ceremony of him. First, they had a ceremony of him taking his ring off, and they had a spiritual healer, and they did this whole thing and threw it in the ocean. And I was like, all that. Oh, that was a little much. But I do agree with the whole, you have to let go of the past. Get to, so it was a good message. Get to go to the future. I'm thinking these two had some chemistry and everything. So later when he shows up, Patty's like, I talked to the guy. The happy said they had chemistry. He said, she talked to Peyton Sip chick. She said they had chemistry. He just want to make sure it's not just whatever. And then this guy comes up. He's like, he was okay. But he's like, something's going on. What's going on? Well, apparently, he met a guy on the internet, on one of the apps, at the same time. So I feel bad for him. I was like, happy I'm here. Come to me. Um, I, feel so, I feel so bad that that guy lost out because he messed with it. But Apparently now they're together. He moved to California. He was in Miami. Now he's in California. Then they're together. And they were like a typical couple, I guess. Um, he didn't, the, the guy he was with didn't do anything for me. But I was just like, okay, well, I guess I guess the lesson is that he opened himself up because of Patty. And now he's open to anything. And so now he's met somebody. And now they're together. So I was like, okay, sure. But I don't know what happened to Happy. He needs to have somebody. Um, anyway, um, I the show I give the show a B plus. It was fine. It was, the show was nothing. It didn't seem too much of anything. It was like a regular matchmaking show. But I have to. I, but I, why I give it a B plus? Because what what we're making it an A is I need Patty to be a little more herself. So I mean I'm not gonna watch. I'm probably gonna watch any more shows. I don't. I don't. I'm gonna add this to my list. I may. I may catch another one. Here and there, but I almost I miss a little bit of the old Patty, a little bit. Maybe she maybe she does another episode. She comes out more, but I was like, I need my New York girl. To be like, come on, folks, get real a little bit. Be some of these people. She always gives good advice. That's the whole thing about her. But she looks great. The show was was fine, and that's my review. And I like I guess I normally don't watch that. I'm glad I'm glad I watched it. I didn't I didn't feel like my hour was wasted or anything. So that's. That's my deal. It's on CW. I can't tell you what day it comes. I think it comes on Tuesdays, um, Thursdays, I think. So check it out. I just DVR'd it, and that's how I watched it. I think it's, I think it's Thursdays. Yeah, I think it was Thursdays because I watched it yesterday. Um, and it's on CW, Patty Stinger, The Matchmaker. I will talk to you later with more episodes of my show. In, um, uh, I don't want to watch that here on JLJ Media on YouTube. I'll talk to you next time.